The other measurement you'll frequently want to make of antennas, cables and filters is that of return loss, or VSWR. Now the process for this is exactly the same as it was for measuring insertion loss, except we're going to need to use a directional bridge. Now I've got an Agilent 86205A here directional bridge, but any good quality bridge will suffice. The bridge separates the reflected signal from the forward signal, allowing us to measure the return loss or match of the antenna, cable or filter. So the signal from the tracking generator is connected to the input of the bridge. The reflected output of the bridge is connected to the input of the spectrum analyzer. And the third port on the bridge is going to be connected to the device under test. In this case, I'll measure the same device we used previously, the diplexer or filter that I used in the last demonstration. So we'll press mode, select tracking generator, and it's already on and the amplitude's still at 0 dBm from the last measurement we made. And I'll select a frequency of 430 MHz. Now if I connect the filter, and press span, and we'll zoom in a bit. You can see here the return loss of the filter. But of course, we've not yet normalized the trace, so the values on here are relatively meaningless until we do that. So to perform the normalization, we'll disconnect the cable from the filter. We'll connect a precision 50 ohm short circuit. We press measure and normalize, store reference 1 to 4, and normalize on. And you'll see that the trace now has normalized and calibrated itself to remove all the errors from the cable and the bridge, and the trace is at 0 dB at the top of the display. I'll now remove the short circuit and reconnect the filter. Just a reminder, if you're measuring multi-port devices such as this filter, make sure that any unused ports are terminated with a precision 50 ohm load. We can now see the return loss trace of the filter on the analyzer. I'll just press the amplitude button and select a scale per division of, say, 5 dB per division. And if I put a marker on the trace and turn the knob, you can see we have a good return loss there in the notch of the filter of about minus 15 and a half dB. If you'd like further information on these products, including demonstration guides, operating manuals or application notes, please visit the website shown below.